As hurricane season quickly approaches, getting prepared for a major storm should be top of your list. But if you live in a coastal county, get ready to be charged for the cleanup. It's a done deal, at least for now. Unfortunately, the, the rules that have now been promulgated by the Department of Insurance would cause an unfair surcharge or what I call a tax. State Representative Rene Oliveira and others attempted to stop it from happening, but the surcharge rules for the Texas Windstorm Insurance Association are moving forward. So what does this mean for you? Well, if you live in a coastal county in Texas, hunkering down for a catastrophic storm is only part of your worry. You know, it goes beyond property owners. So anybody who drives a car in the coastal counties uh, would be impacted. Several residents in coastal counties, including here in the Valley, were against the premium surcharges, but the state argued there is just not enough money to cover a depleted windstorm fund in a storm's aftermath. Therefore, the burden will fall back on the taxpayer, but only certain ones. And what we resent about these particular surcharges and fees is that they're limited only to coastal counties. Hurricanes st don't stop at the county line. Representative Oliveira says residents in coastal counties should shouldn't be singled out because of where they live. And like other events across the state, all people who reside here should be responsible for helping out. And frankly, the thought that we as Texans aren't protecting all Texans disturbs me. Historically, if there were wildfires or there were tornadoes or whatever cataclysmic event, the whole state paid for it. And it's wrong to put these surcharges on just coastal property owners. Well, the amount of the surcharge won't be known until the time comes that it's enforced. Want to sound off on the surcharge? Residents of coastal counties only will have to pay. Find me now on Facebook.com slash Action4NewsMarcy or on Twitter at MarcyKGBT.